Welcome to the official Windows 8 and 8.1 channel. And today we're going to talk about the minimum requirements for Windows 8.1. Um, we talked about the minimum requirements on Windows 8 before. Now we're talking about 8.1. Has anything changed on 8.1 compared to 8? Basically, no. Uh, Windows 8.1 requires the same minimum requirements. So, first of all, any Windows 8 machine works with Windows 8.1. If you didn't have Windows 8 but tried the Windows 8.1 uh, preview or maybe the Windows 8 preview, uh, well, you know that if your computer worked well with the preview version works well on Windows 8.1 uh, there was some reports about people saying that when they jumped to Windows 8.1 uh, they had some devices that lost their drivers so I'm not really sure didn't see much about it but I did read a few comments about people saying well you know I had a webcam it didn't doesn't work anymore in 8.1 uh, printer or scanner so it kind of um, makes me wonder if uh, maybe something in the drivers um, had to be removed. But technically, all devices that were working in Windows 8 should work in Windows 8.1. So maybe it's just uh, to reinstall the drivers of some sort. Or maybe just a bug while you upgraded if you upgraded from Windows 8 to 8.1, for example. Um, the minimum requirements themselves are quite simple, but there's more to do uh, Windows install than just these requirements. Um, processor, 1 gigahertz processor that has PAE, NX, and SSE2 support. Uh, basically, all the later Pentium 4s and up. If you bought a uh, Pentium 4 machine uh, many years ago, but it was one of the last ones, uh, especially the ones with um, um, different um, new options like uh, there's a virtualization option in uh, Pentium 4's later versions of Pentium 4's. Um, it might not work on the first series of Pentium 4's because it doesn't have all those instructions necessarily, but later versions of, uh, you know, the last Pentium 4's that were um, released before we went to core 2 machines uh, can probably work Windows 8.1 but there's a maybe here that I'll talk about a little later um, so 1 gigahertz processor uh, RAM 1 gigabyte minimum for the 2, two bit 2 gigabyte for the 64 bits hard drive space at least 16 for the 32 bit 20 for the 64 bit version and a graphics card that supports at least DirectX 9 uh, with the Windows uh, device driver uh, model, which is uh, Microsoft's way of uh, doing drivers. And uh, now that's minimum requirements, and you see that Windows 8 is actually not very demanding because these requirements mean that probably some old computers can still work uh, Windows 8. Now, yeah, there were um, basically Pentium 3 machines with 1 GHz processors. These are not compatible, that's for sure. They don't have the models for PAE and, and X in the Pentium 3. If you have a Pentium 4, an old Pentium 4 lying around, um, it's a hit and miss situation. I would say that you have about 70% chance it doesn't work and a 30% a chance it does. If you're not sure if it can work or not, what you can do if you have someone lying with a Windows 8.1 a disk lying around, you can just borrow the disk, install it on the computer without any license number and uh, see if it installs okay. If you don't put in any license number what's going to happen is you'll have about a 30 day trial version of Windows 8 which is, it gives you time to know if it works or not um, I wouldn't suggest that you buy a Windows 8 disk if you have a Pentium 4 chances are more probably have more chances that it doesn't work than, than it does 
Um, and on Pentium 4, basically, I stick with Windows 7, and even even Windows 7 is not always an easy task for uh, Pentium 4s. If you have a Core 2 machine, normally pretty much every machine should work Windows 8.1. Uh, Core 2 machines are pretty much compatible throughout the uh, across the board on Windows 8. The only problems is depending on the hardware that you use. It might require, if it's uh, one of the first uh, Core 2 machines, for example, might require some adjustments on. Uh, maybe a graphics card change or stuff like that because there might be some driver missing but um, I tried to preview on four different uh, Core 2 Duo machines and dual core machines that I have and all four machines worked flawlessly there was some drivers missing but they eventually installed themselves automatically with Windows Update so um, I would say that you have a pretty good chance of having a Windows 8 machine with any Core 2 or Core dual core machines. And of course, if you have a Core i3, i5, or i7, they're all going to be compatible with Windows 8 with uh, no problem. Um, the biggest problem probably about Windows 8 upgrade um, in the minimum requirements is your computer's devices. Um, sometimes a computer can be like a mixed bag of new and old hardware and probably there you'll have problems because you'll have the new hardware that works fine the old hardware doesn't have any drivers and the computer doesn't work well um, if you've got that old printer scanner that's like 10 years old and stuff like that there's a pretty good chance you won't have any upgrades to um, drivers there so uh, keep in mind that an old printer scanner an old webcam has um, a chance a good chance of not working anything that is compatible with um, Windows 7 probably is in Windows 8 but it doesn't mean it is um, and that's not Microsoft's fault that will probably be more of the uh, company's fault, the one that made that hardware. Uh, if your HP printer doesn't work, uh, don't blame Microsoft, blame HP for not upgrading their drivers. They'd rather sell you a new printer, especially because they're cheap now. And, uh, well, on pretty much all the machines that I've used Windows 8, even old ones, it's pretty fast pretty zippy, pretty snappy, it's an amazing operating system even on old hardware so if you want to upgrade an old machine and you see that it works well that's cool because you'll have something that's actually fast and actually I found Windows 8 to be faster on old machines than Windows XP so that gives you an idea of how well built uh, and optimize the Windows core is in Windows 8. So uh, if you have an old machine that's probably what you'll need is to know um, if it works and please don't take these minimum requirements number only because there's more to the upgrade than just numbers and um, I would suggest if you have an old Pentium 4 or one of the early Core 2 machines uh, maybe try out with a uh, trial version you can still download I believe the preview version of Windows 8 that's a great way to uh, actually try it out on an old machine if the Windows preview works then Windows 8 and 8.1 full versions will work fine so um, try to get an old preview version or like I said if you have a friend that has a disk, a Windows 8 disk um, pop it in your drive don't enter any key numbers because you cannot install a multiple machine so you, you can't enter your friend's key try it out for 30 days um, with the, uh, your friend's DVD and uh, if it works fine then you know that you can actually upgrade the machine um, one last word of 
caution here on upgrades. Um, as a tech guy here in uh, Montreal, one of the things that I could say is if you have a machine that works with Vista or Windows 7, um, I don't really, unless you really like seeing new operating system and playing with new operating systems, some of us like that. Some of us are hobby. Computers are really our hobby and we uh, like trying out new stuff. If you like that, that's okay. But if you have an old machine with Vista or uh, Windows 7, I wouldn't push any upgrade. Uh, honestly, um, keep your computer like it is and think about an upgrade more as uh, an upgrade when you buy a new machine. You'll have the new Windows on that machine. I think that's going to be better. Um, I don't really like pushing upgrades much. And um, if you have an, an old XP machine, um, Remember that XP is coming up to its end of life uh, cycle for updates in April 2014. So you'll have no choice to eventually upgrade next year. If you have a Pentium 4 or a Core 2 with Windows XP, um, probably the best version to try out would be um, Windows 7. And if it works well, I'd stick with Windows 7 on these machines rather than going to Windows 8. Um, first, you'll have more chance of having a working computer with Windows 7 than Windows 8 on old machines. And uh, also, you um, won't be lost because Windows XP users are still used to that you know, desktop interface. So they're a little lost in Windows 8, um, as a lot of people are. So uh, these are the minimum requirements. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, the discussion here. And uh, if you uh, enjoy our videos, please subscribe to our channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up. And um, maybe you have comments, questions, or maybe um, an app that you'd like us to talk about. Let us know and we'll try to put that video online. And hopefully you will come back to this official Windows 8 channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.